Deontay Wilder's manager, Shirley Winkle, has insisted that the Ortiz fight will be going ahead. It won't be Tyson Fury, after claims from Bob Arum that he doesn't want any more interim fights for Tyson Fury. He wanted to go straight into that fight later this year, but that has been thwarted by Shirley Finkel, which, I mean, we can't be surprised about because Shirley Finkel often puts down big fights. Remember the Anthony Joshua fight? That was his doing, I believe, and maybe a bit of Al Heyman, and the fact that Deontay Wilder probably didn't want the fight. Maybe he wants it now, though, after Joshua's shock loss to Andy Ruiz, which is a big mistake because he is not Andy Ruiz. That will be a completely different fight. But anyway, on the subject of Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury, Shirley Finkel had this to say. At this time, and as Deontay Wilder has told his fans, we are fighting Luis Ortiz. Then, we will fight Tyson Fury. I'm not sure why this question is being asked, but Deontay's fight, our next fight, is Ortiz. The Fury rematch will follow. So that is what Shirley Finkel has had to say on the subject. So it is clear that Deontay Wilder will not be facing Tyson Fury this year. It will be Luis Ortiz. Now promoter Eddie Hearn had claimed that Deontay Wilder probably would not want to risk going in there with Luis Ortiz when he has the Fury fight that is so big and probably the biggest fight in the heavyweight division at the moment other than Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz. So why would he risk that by fighting Luis Ortiz, a fight that he genuinely could lose? He could have lost it last time if it weren't for the ref being a bit handy in there. I mean, he gave Deontay Wilder a little bit more time to recover after one of the rounds, which was a bit shady and shouldn't have happened, but still, maybe that will get put right in the rematch. Perhaps Deontay Wilder isn't really as good as they say. I mean, people are saying that enough about Anthony Joshua now. He is not as good as people made out. Yet, Anthony Joshua has been competing against a higher level of opposition than Deontay Wilder, and consistently at that, I know he has suffered a defeat to Andy Ruiz, but... At least he went in there and he was fighting a top opponent. Obviously, he has wins over Vladimir Klitschko, Alexander Povetkin, Joseph Parker. You don't get those kind of wins if you are just a hype job. He is still a good fighter. He has still achieved a lot. He's just suffered one loss. Deontay Wilder, his time will come. Maybe it's Luis Ortiz. And if it's not Luis Ortiz, it most definitely will be Tyson Fury. I believe that Tyson Fury even stops Deontay Wilder in that fight. I think Deontay Wilder will get exposed in the second Tyson Fury fight. Or perhaps maybe even Luis Ortiz will beat Deontay Wilder and he will get found out there. But then again, I suppose we can't really find much out about Deontay Wilder. We know he's not a very good boxer at all anyway. So we don't really need to see him get exposed against a high level operator to find that out. Because we already know it. The two credible fights on his record are shrouded in controversy. The Luis Ortiz fight, he was given more time to recover than he should have had after rounds. And his fight with Tyson Fury, there is no way he got a draw in that fight. There's no way he won that fight. He won two moments of that fight when he knocked Tyson Fury down twice. He didn't even win those rounds. There can be no denying that Tyson Fury won that fight. But anyway guys, what are your thoughts on Shelley Finkel's comments and the fact that Deontay Wilder will be facing Luis Ortiz later this year? Do you think that maybe puts the Tyson Fury fight in doubt? And do you think Deontay Wilder can come through that fight? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.